What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are at the range with my buddy Nubs Gunner. If you guys don't follow him on social media, go ahead and do so. If not, I'll provide all the info down below so you can click on it and go check out his Instagram. Does some pretty cool stuff. Um, this is Nubs. Nubs was in the Marine Corps. And uh, when did you get wounded? Uh, 2007. Two th oh, that's right. You were... Yeah, we were in Bamsey almost yeah, but at the same time. I got there in May. When did you get there? Uh, into April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. You were there before me. Dang. Okay. I must have been, I must be an OG, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Because, yeah, I got there in May 16 of 2007 is when I got there. Okay. I don't even remember. I don't know the exact day, but. Yeah, I do. It all blends <laughs> in. I've done so many interviews that I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, I was wounded in 06. Uh, May 14 of 06. I was like, wait, no, that's when I got there. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I always forget the dates. How do you forget? I'm like, I don't know. I just. It all, yeah, you're you're trying to get better. So. Yeah, you're like, it's like a it's like a it's like a numbing period where you're just like you're trying to concentrate on one thing and you're like, Ugh. but yeah, we were together at Bamsey Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, which is the best. I would say is the best burn center in the world, at um, least North America. For yeah, sure. we're North America for sure. Yeah, um, and so we were there around the same time. We didn't really get to hang out that much because I guess. We were in and out at different times, and it's just so chaotic there. And uh, you know, I think you. What year did you leave? Uh, it was beginning of '09. I, I was out, so I was there for a little under a year, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I see. I left in 2010, so I was there a little longer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, once once you're in there, it's literally appointments, surgeries, appointments. Yeah, appointments. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get out, like all these crazy things, and then. Uh, and then we connected again, what, a few years ago, maybe? Mm -hmm. I think I can remember. Yeah, At we, least, yeah. Yeah, we did an event together. And um, I, it's crazy. I, you guys always kind of give this uh, compliment to my shooting in because of my hands. And then I saw him shooting, and I was like, dude, I, I got no excuse whatsoever. Because it's, it's kind of, we're going to show you guys here. You know how nub shoots because it's it's very intriguing dude like thanks it's the uh the adjust and overcome period of i tell people all the time like y you're not you're shooting bad because you haven't figured out your grip exactly right? yeah. the fundamentals yeah exactly and i feel like a lot of people you know we 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 see all these videos on instagram and youtube and guys are like da, 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 and you know they're hitting all these stars like <laughs> well well that is great yes that is awesome that is literally one percent of the population that can actually do that so every time that i shoot i i always emphasize take your time bring your gun out you know do all the fundamentals and then shoot you don't have to speed shoot like a lot of exactly you're no one's a f1 nascar driver you know yeah exactly <laughs> something like you know you need to relax you need to acquire your target make a shot and then go from there and and that's literally what i when i first saw you online you could tell you were trying to figure out your grip oh you know? yeah it, it took even even after i was well into shooting readjusting you know uh from even drawing and holsters and getting the proper grip from from that to even just standing there with the firearm uh getting the grip from that so sometimes even after i draw the gun i'll be readjusting my grip yeah and i and, and you know you do such a great job on social media of like dry firing at home or using like you know those um I'm, what is it like i'm the mantis the mantis uh of doing that and then i'll be at home and i'm like dang it so I walk outside, I go to go to my shed, grab the mantis, come back in, and I'm start practicing because I'm like, fucking nubs, he's doing it, and I'm here watching TV. I'm like, damn it, maybe I should do this. Um, and literally, like, I've, I've grabbed inspiration off your channel sometimes because I'm like, dude, like, you have no excuse, and you can shoot. Like, well, that's what I wanted to be known for. I didn't want to be known for just somebody that's like a gun bunny kind of person. I want to be known as somebody that, that you know, that's a shooter, not just, yeah. hey, check out this cool gun that I keeping my safe yeah 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 <laughs> no yeah do you definitely put he definitely puts his guns through the ringer and i mean you see it he's constantly up loading content of shooting and doing all this crazy stuff and i love it um because you know you, you tend to not train like you fight there's a lot of people you know you go to the range maybe three four times a year and then you know you're presented with a situation that you know could be um life-saving a situation if you would have gone to the to the range more times and actually learn how to draw faster how to shoot how to move and all these things and a lot of people get complacent oh yeah yeah and seeking other training outside of just 
you know, going with your friends um, and going to some either a concealed carry class or a red dot course or um, a VCQB course, you know, you're in your vehicle, I don't know how many percent of your day, you know, yeah. 50, 60 percent of your day mostly. Yep. So yep. seeking outside training and then taking that to your own flat range and working drills and things is, yeah, is important to me. And it, it means a lot to me, you know, that, you know, you speak highly of me as a shooter. Yeah, dude, without a doubt. I always tell people like, for example, I was literally just talking to Bob, our good friend who owns this range and lets us out and come do whatever we want out here. We were talking about it and I was here a couple of days ago and usually every time I'm shooting, you know, there's a camera in front of me. So it's just kind of like, it gets to be a little too much sometimes. So I was like, I want a day where I'm just going to come out. I'm just going to run some fundamentals, run some drills and just be about me. Exactly. And, and so I sat out here and I was at five yards and, you know, we got, you guys will see the range right now, but I have a bunch of silhouette targets out here. It, this is a main pistol uh, course, but you can shoot, you know, your, your carbines and whatnot. But I was out here, I was at five yards and I was just drawing and I, mean, I was doing a little speed shooting. Um, even though I just said, you know, don't look at that. I didn't film it, so don't worry about it. And I was just doing a little speech shooting and, and Bob came over, he's like, dude, dang. And I was like, ah, you know, I was like, I feel, I feel like a little less pressure when a camera is not on than yeah. when it's on, you know? So like, I shoot better when, when no one's around. And then I moved up to 25, which is where we're at right now. And then I moved past 50 and I was doing headshots at 50. And, uh, you know, I was just you don't all, feel the pressure. So no, just, no, yeah, you're relaxed. Exactly. And was, you're just doing, doing your thing. Yep. And, uh, and you know, then I just came back today and he's like, dude, he's like, how are you doing it with your grip? And I'm like, listen, you have not seen anything. I was like, wait till my buddy gets here. And I was like, and you're going to be like, holy crap. Like how? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I was like, you know, when people ask me about my grip and how I shoot and how I make it happen, I can't explain it. Like I'm well, like, I've looked at your videos thousands of times in, in prior to you know me getting back into shooting and stuff. And, yeah, and trying to see how you do it and see how some of these other guys do it and just kind of finding a way that works for you. Yeah, is a huge thing and working yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, because I tell people all the time, I'm like, my grip is so different than his grip because you shoot with your pinky, right? On your so if I'm shooting a rifle, I'm shooting uh, pinky, and then when I shoot a pistol, I'm shooting with my left thumb. Well, your left thumb, yeah. So like retraining my brain. You know, like the, the the muscle memory of, okay, I'm shooting a rifle, I'm going to shoot pinky. Okay, I'm shooting a pistol, I'm going to shoot with my left yeah. side. It's, it's kind of left brain, right brain, I feel like, when I'm out there. <laughs> and I've seen your videos. You do a lot of transitioning from carving into pistol. How, how long did it take you to switch that that going from your pinky to your thumb on, on both? Oh, it was months of... A lot of dry fire, especially in the basement, alone, yeah. you know, fumbling <laughs> as I'm dropping the rifle and trying to get to get to the pistol. It, it was just, it was, it was a process for yeah. sure. Uh -huh. It's something that I still have to continue to work on because it, it is that, I feel like it's an ever evolving or maybe like a diminishing skill for me yeah. with, with the injuries. So, so and then you got to continue. I used to, so like for me, for example, there's times where I get cut up, um, like the gun will cut me or the AR will cut me because I'm running so fast and I'll, you know, do these things. Are you getting like cuts on your fingers and stuff like that? Oh yeah, oh, this is just from uh, the rate when I was at Staccato for a few hours. Um, right, right here on my hand, it's I'll get blisters, and then um, like here I'll get like for the, from the trigger on the pistol or like over here. You're like, rubbing on the yeah, on the yeah. Skin. We just started getting just like rubbed raw, or on on my pistol you'll see like a ton of blood up here on the top of. Oh the yeah, <laughs> mine are mine are the same way. Or or you see this skin, on yeah. the dead skin on it. You're yep. like. Damn it, get off of there. Yeah, you got to hand somebody your gun. They're like, do I really want to shoot this? <laughs> so, it's, it's a process. Yeah, it is. But cool. Um, yeah, guys, this is Nubs. Like I said, I'll put all his info down below. We are going to load some mags, and then we're going to get to the range and shoot a little bit and watch his grip and talk a little bit about it. And we're just going to have some fun. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Guys, do me a huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get after it. Pretty much, I mean, you're free range to go. I just kind of 
see if you can explain to everybody like how when you draw your pistol and how you grip and you go because for me i used to have two different grips so when i first used to draw i grab right here like this and then i bring this hand over and i shoot like this okay so you're switching yeah but i was getting too much recoil so what i ended up doing was now I grip with my right hand and my left hand goes in front of the trigger guard. And that's nice, there's a beaver tail here And, and it is, yeah. So I can grip a little better and I shoot better. So I switch my grip from this to this and I'm I'm more consistent now. Okay. So that's what I would say. I don't know yeah, so how for, yours comes out and how do you go about it? So for me, when I, uh, so I have my, my holster modified. So, cause I, I'm under retention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I have this be able to lock back, but Luckily, my hand is almost like a C clamp, thankfully. Um, so when I draw the firearm, I'm able to get a good focus on the gun. Yep. And I bring it up and I marry where my, my trigger finger and the left, th left hand here automatically. And um, I'm able to go off safe with the, the other nub here. So on off. I don't ever have my gun on safe. <laughs> and I'm able to already be, as my second hand, my left hand marries up to the, to the gun. I'm already on the trigger and able to able to fire. Fire. So. Sweet. Let's see it. Okay, let me, uh, Let's see it. <clears throat> Let's make ready. Main frame. Yeah, you're good. Now he's just showing off. <laughs> yeah, see, and for me, like, I'm telling you, like, I was able to, I switched it over from, from that one to this, and then here, bro, I'm just. So, I mean, I, I lose the grip a little bit sometimes, and I just regrip. Talk then... about showing off. <laughs> what Freaking laser beams ah whatever um yeah we'll go ahead and hit it show off And I'm showing off, liar. You gotta get your reload snappy. Yeah, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, there's one thing I hate doing is dropping mag. Okay. <laughs> I'm very like, uh, I'm very weird about it. Like I usually I run out of a mag and I'm like, all right, cool. Especially these. Yeah. Uh, they're, <laughs> and because they're $60, expensive. $60, $70 a yeah. mag, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll find myself just placing Yep, one. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not gonna lose a gun like that. Yep. Uh, but yeah. Get up. There we go. I like your grip like that though. Yeah, I, I can control it a little better. Like my control is a lot better than, than the other one because the other one is like this, right? And so I don't even remember it anymore. So it's like this. And you're shooting left hand or left hand dominant. Yeah. So I mean, it's fine. But I just feel this way here. I'm. I feel like I'm with, more in control. With your thumb here, you're you're controlling the recoil. The recoil, yeah. yeah. So that's where's the other? Like what I I'm able to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Very nice. Yeah, that's. You're already getting cut. Yeah. It's not the gun's fault. It's just. Yeah, it's your skin. My trashed hands. Yep. I tell my wife that all the time. I'm like, stupid skin. Yeah. Sweet. Hell yeah. You wanna, you wanna run that one over? Yeah. Well, I, I gotta load it up a little. I just put a. Oh, gotcha. Let's do it. You rolling? Oh. 
terrible. Terrible. Let's re rack it. Nice. Good reload. It's that holdover. <laughs> yeah. Because I was shooting low at first. Oh, so, yeah, I got you. Oh, that's still not right. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's reset it. Yeah, right, go ahead. You, I can, you want, I mean, I thought the shot was from back here, but I, whatever. Yeah, that's good, right there. Yep. I shot that. I was shooting from low. I was like, ah! That's what I was doing. I, was like, I can fix this. I know I can. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it now. Come on. The key is to shoot the top one first, right? I mean, I, I like shooting the top one because it, it takes a little bit, it slows down. Yeah. And I've always seen people shoot the bottom one and it starts going really fast, and I'm like, huh. So. Yes, I, I will shoot the top one first. Cause then after that they start uh they start spinning really fast. And I can't remember who taught me that trick, but somebody taught me that trick. They were like, you know, you wanna you wanna shoot the top one first. And I was like, okay. Sorry, I'm not bending over very much to grab. No, you're good, brother. I know your back's checked up. And this will be the last step. Uh, the what? We'll do the star a lot, like, one time. And then oh, oh, that was me. Why one time? I don't know. I'm going to get to keep setting back up. These uh, magnets are so good, bro. That sometimes they're a... Uh, but yeah, they get on so tight, it's a pain in the ass to uh, to open them. There we go. There we go. Get up. All right, you're going star first. Yeah, it's still spinning. Stop it! Could be the wind too. Nice. Son of a bitch. What? I want a cleaner star. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm telling you. The, the star takes a little while to get used to, man. It really does. It's 
such a pain in the ass. Good old Texas. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, sir. What else do you want to film? See you, man. You can keep shooting whatever you want to keep shooting. We can just keep shooting, having fun. Stay. Left. Work left to right. Well, you Two. work left. I work right. Oh, okay. So I go. So there's. You got three. I go three, three. And then work in, and then we meet in the middle. How many per target? I don't. Whatever. Two or three. Sure. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> whatever you want to do. But that was fun. I work reloads a lot. So. Dude, I, I do too. I just don't do it with this gun. <laughs> or with these mags. Okay. Like if I have my other mags, I'll yeah. toss them. I don't care. But not not these. These are staccato mags and they're expensive. Alright guys, so there it is. As you guys can clearly see, I uh I outshot nubs. I just did I didn't want to do it, but he came out to my state, so I felt like I had to. I, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just kidding. Uh we're gonna Continue to have some fun. We get on loads of mags and just kind of keep catching up and go do some lunch. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna put all his info down below. He does have a YouTube channel, but he ain't working on it. But we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him to do it and put out more content because um, I feel like it's important when people can see your grip and then see other people's grip and then just kind of adjust. Because I know there's a there's a lot of YouTube channels out there. There's a lot of people that are doing a lot of great things. And uh, it's a lot of speed shooting and it might be a little bit intimidating for others. Oh yeah, definitely. And so like, I wanna make sure that people understand like, hey, listen, there's levels to these things and it doesn't matter where you're at. The important thing is that you're out there doing it and and that you're seeing people like Nubs and myself and other guys with injuries that are overcoming these obstacles and then just getting out there and having fun. Cause that's honestly, that's what it's about. It's about having fun. Getting, getting together with your friends or making new friends in the community yeah. and just training together. And uh, like, like uh, I'm not sure if you, I'm sure you know, uh, No Handed Shooter. He yeah, does, that guy's awesome. He does crazy. That dude is awesome. Yeah. He's probably better than both of us. No, I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. We gotta get him on the channel too. So I'll probably reach out to him, but yeah. Um, so I appreciate you, man. Thanks for swinging by. Thanks for being on the channel. And uh, again, you wanna tell everybody where they can find you at and you know, all the cool things you're gonna be doing. Cool. Yeah, so currently just uh, through Instagram, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it's all just Nub Gunner, either on Instagram or YouTube, uh, Facebook as well. Um, probably should go ahead and start the YouTube back. I'm up. telling you, do it. <laughs> um, I just did a. I just was in at Sakato at their headquarters doing a whole bunch of stuff with them. That would have been an awesome video. Exactly. I, I, I did a little short on it, you know, but yeah. nothing long form. Yeah, um, long form would have been awesome. Yeah, that facility is awesome. It's brand new facility. So. State of the art tons more to come from them uh, as well with me working with staccato and uh hopefully uh see you at shot show again or maybe before then i, I don't know if i'm going this year to be honest he's with going you. he's I, going this is gonna be my 16th year going okay do you get like a punch card or something? i don't know but i'm tired of going <laughs> there's people that have only been once like myself so. uh whatever i might if you go i'll go okay let's do it all right cool i'll hold you to it all right we're gonna dump these mags guys thank you so much for tuning in i love you i appreciate you i'll see you guys next week until then chris beyond